Jay Adams here, Classic Kitchens Etc. And we're in the beautiful hills of Laverne to show you a kitchen and family room remodel we just finished. Come on, take a look. For this kitchen, we did a rectangular island. It's got a closed overhang design with panels that we did um, false door fronts over and then a fluted uh, end cap, which really makes it look very uh, classy and elegant. It seats four and we topped it with a calicutta quartz. Of course, quartz is far superior as far as uh, taking care of it. Uh, maintenance on quartz is a lot lower than, than real marble. Marble can scratch really easy, it's porous. Um, so this is really nice because um, you don't have to seal it. It's not a food source for mold. Um, it's really hard to scratch, so it's, it's really nice. We did a espresso um, cabinet on the island as an accent for the white painted cabinetry on the perimeter. So this is all um, painted on the perimeter and then this is a stained espresso stain on the, on the island. I think it all comes together really, really well. Uh, everything that we do is electrolyzed varnish finish, so that means these are all baked on finishes. So the cabinets are really gonna last a lot longer because of the process that they use to make the cabinetry. And for this back wall, we did the matching uh, Calicutta look quartz, and uh, the client selected a 36-inch cooktop, a 36-inch hood that we mounted under cabinets, so this hides all the uh, venting for, for the hood, and that goes in the wall, and that goes outside of the house. Um, in this area, we did a built-in Thermador uh, microwave and a built-in oven. Uh, we have storage above it. We have a cookie sheet cabinet here, so it's got um, racks so you can put your cookie sheets in there. And then we just did storage here for appliances. This is a freestanding refrigerator, and so we built in, a, this is for a freestanding unit, so if anything happens, they want to get a new fridge, it'll fit in this existing space uh, really easily. Underneath the, the cooktop, we have storage for pots and pans and we have the trash and recycle pole here and that is a soft clothes unit and then over here we have a lazy susan um, this is actually a super susan so this super susan has no pole in the center it's just all wood and, uh, and no pole which is kind of useful and then we designed in a lot of drawers so you know for storage drawers are really great for storage um, these really big drawers over here, really great storage, pots, pans, um, strainers, Tupperware, all that stuff. And then in this corner cabinet here, we have another Lazy Susan. This one has a pole, but it's, it's really nice to organize and people use it as spice racks. It's really versatile. Over here, we have a display cabinet with leaded glass and we put some glass shelves in there because we did cup lights and so that way the, the light shines through all the glass shelves and illuminates everything that's inside the cabinet. So that's really nice. And then we uh, coordinated the countertop with the backsplash with a, a gray subway tile. Um, but we did not set it in a subway pattern, we set it in a herringbone pattern just to give it a little more interest. For the uh, kitchen sink, we did a quartz, uh, white quartz kitchen sink. This is a double equal bowl. And then we added a hot water dispenser, so you can have instant hot water. And for the lighting fixtures, the client picked these beautiful um, pendants. And they're a 12 inch pendant with some LED lights inside of them and they just look really great. And we install these for them and also the chandelier over the um, dining room table. This entertainment center was actually a honey oak like the original cabinetry was in the kitchen. We went with a stained espresso to match the island. The island is espresso and the perimeter cabinets are white. So we wanted to match the island and kind of tie the two spaces together. This is in the, um, the great room because it's the kitchen and the family room are together. And we have uh, these espresso um, stain that we did on the existing honey oak cabinetry which turned out fabulous. And then we rebuilt this area to accept uh, a normal T, a new TV, I should say, the new slim TVs, very wide. This was made to accept the old style TVs, the big boxy TVs, so we rebuilt that. Uh, did speaker cabinets here and uh, then added the same quartz from the kitchen countertop. We added that to this fireplace and we mitered the edge so it looks like one big hunk of, of stone match the veins going down. It's just really, really great. It looks really nice. 
Uh, for the flooring, we did laminated vinyl. And what's great about the laminated vinyl is that, you know, no grout lines, even though I'm a tile guy, I love tile, but no grout lines, uh, easy to clean, and it is waterproof. It's a waterproof laminated vinyl. It's really realistic, feels great, it's not cold, no grout lines, and uh, it's easy to take care of.